We first have to make sure that you have a Google account. If you don't have one, we should create one. If you already have a Google account, a Gmail account, for example, you can write here on accounts.google.com, can directly sign in. For now, I'm gonna create an account and I can, can create an account for myself or to manage my business. Don't create a account for yourself because you have limited possibilities. Use an account for my business. So now you have to provide your first name, last name, username, and a password, and click next. Then fill out your birth date and your gender. Click next. We agree to these terms of service. Confirm. Now it opens the Google Apps window over here. If it isn't here, then you can click over here. Now go to YouTube, sign in, click on your avatar here and click on create a channel. Your journey begins, get started. Now it asks how you want to create your channel. There are two channels a personal channel and a business channel. A personal channel has some limitations. Always choose a business channel. For example, you can choose a custom channel name and you can't do that with a personal account. You also can't add managers to your YouTube account. Over here, select. Then a channel name, my new super channel. I understand. Click create. You can change this later if you want, by the way. You can upload a profile picture. This isn't necessary because you can change it later. So we are going to the next step. Tell what your channel is about. My channel is about creating YouTube videos. This about section is the section that you will see when you go to your channel. You have here the tabs and when you go to the tab about, then you will have a description over here. And you can fill that out here, but you can also change it later, so don't worry about it too much. Now you can add links to your YouTube channel, and those are the links that are over here. For example, my website, and we can hit save and continue. We can set this up later, so it doesn't matter that much. Something you have to know is that this is the public part of YouTube, but there's also a private part that is the management system of YouTube that is called YouTube Studio. And in YouTube Studio, you can upload videos, manage videos, manage comments, manage subtitles, etc., etc., etc. When you want to upload a video to YouTube, you can click on this upload a video button, but I'm going to show you a different way because this button will disappear after you've uploaded your first video. So we are going to YouTube studio. You can do this by clicking on this channel icon over here and then click on YouTube studio. Now it will take you to YouTube studio. To upload your video, you can click or here, or you can click on create and click on upload videos. Now you can click on select files and select the file that you want to upload. I have my video file on my desktop, so I click here and click on this video over here and click on open. Now the video starts uploading and you can see the upload progress on the bottom of the screen. In the meantime, you can fill out a title and your description and describe what your video is about. So the YouTube algorithm has a better understanding of what your video is about, so people can find your video. I would also recommend to upload a thumbnail, so click on upload thumbnail and choose a thumbnail that you have created in Photoshop, for example. The upload is now finished. It will process the video in a while. In the meantime, we can click next. But before I can do that, I have to check if the video is safe for kids or not. No, it is not made for kids. Next, video elements, next. We're now going through all the tab sheets on the top of the screen. Click next, 
visibility. If I want to release the video immediately after it is uploaded, I click on public. Otherwise I would set the video as private and now click publish and click close. Click on content and now we can see the video we just uploaded. And when the processing is finished, the video will be available publicly on YouTube and then you can find it under videos. Now let's create a playlist because otherwise we have nothing to customize later. Therefore go to playlists, then uh, pretend for a second that this playlist isn't here yet. Click on new playlist and click on playlist title, enter a playlist title, I call it channel reviews. Then you can set this visibility, public means that it is available to everyone, private means that it is only available to you and unlisted means that it is private but when you have the URL then you can view the playlist. In this case I want to have it public so I click on create. There are several different ways to add videos to a playlist. I show you just one. Click on content. Now click on the pencil icon of your video. Then scroll down and there is playlists. And then select the playlist that you just created. In this case channel reviews. I check that and click done. For this change to take effect you have to click save. When we go back. Click on playlists on the left side of the screen. Now we can see that there are zero videos in this playlist. What we are going to do is refresh the page. And now you will see it added one video to the playlist with a different thumbnail somehow. Hey, <laughs> We can click on the pencil icon to see what is in the playlist. And in the playlist is this video right here. And that is the video that has spontaneously changed thumbnail. That is a bug in YouTube, don't worry about it. I'm going to show you how to customize your YouTube channel, how to change your channel homepage, how to change your channel header, how to change your channel icon, how to change your channel branding, that logo thingy in the right bottom corner of your video, and much more. In YouTube Studio, on the left side, you can find the customization item. Click on that. And now we are getting at the customization option. And now we can customize our channel. The channel customization has three tabs, the layout tab, and the layout tab has everything to do with how the channel homepage looks. Then the branding tab, that has everything to do with the branding and the channel handler over here. And then we have the basic info and the basic info is the about section of your channel. Let's start with the layout of our channel homepage. We can add a video spotlight and that is a channel trailer for people who are not subscribed and a channel trailer for people that are subscribed. That video spotlight is the video that plays on the homepage of your channel and it is here above everything else that you place on your channel homepage. There are two types of videos that you can use as a channel trailer. The first one is a video that you specifically make as a channel trailer. A video in which you introduce yourself and your content. Don't make it too long, 30 seconds, one minute max. The second type is a regular video on your YouTube channel. Pick a video that is really typical for the content of your channel. So your content of your channel is represented with just one video. Pick a video that has an amazing view to subscribe ratio so when viewers see that video they are much more likely to subscribe to your YouTube channel. To do this I can click add and now I get a list of all the videos that are on the channel. Currently I have only one video on the channel. So I click on that video and now I have to click publish. That is something that you shouldn't forget if you do any changes here on this page, click on publish and now it will be publicly available on YouTube. You can preview your channel by clicking on view channel and now you can see that my video is over here. Then we have featured sections. There are already two sections over here and to add a section we can click on add section and then you have a couple of different options. The uploads are already here and those are the latest uploads on your channel like I have in this section over here on my main channel. Then popular uploads, then YouTube will select your most popular video, the, video that, the videos that have the most views. When you want to add that then click on popular uploads and then popular uploads will be over here. I'll add another section 
live now that is for live streams then a section with your past live streams i add live now because this is a live stream channel that live now item will not appear when there is no live stream going on on your channel right now i click add section to add past live streams add section upcoming live streams and all those three are added over here. The upcoming live streams are the streams that you have planned and viewers will see on your homepage the live stream that you have planned. Add section and this is what you will do the most. Add a single playlist. When I click on that it will ask me which playlist do I want to add and I have currently only one playlist on the channel and that one playlist has only one video on it. I Click that playlist and now that playlist is added. Now let's publish and see how this looks. And now you can see my uploads here. Channel reviews, that was the playlist I just added. If you add more videos, those will become those thumbnails. On my main channel, this is a playlist, a recommended videos playlist. So the videos that are showing here are in the playlist YouTube algorithms explained. Let's add another section. Let's add created playlist. Those are the playlists that you have created on the channel. On my main channel over here, I have all the playlists also here, but you can also put them on your YouTube homepage. Publish, view channel, and then over here you can see the playlist that I have created. If there are more playlists, currently there's only one playlist on the channel, then those will be thumbnails also. When we click on add section, we can also add multiple playlists. When I click on that, it asks me which playlists do you want to put in that section. And I have only one playlist, so I click here. I check this one. If you have more playlists, those will be over here. And click done. Let's click on add section. And then over here, we can also add our subscriptions. To which channels are we subscribed? I have no idea why you would want to put that on your channel, but you can do it. And let's click on add section for the last time and click on featured channels. And now we can feature some of our channels. I can name this, for example, featured <laughs> channels. And now I can search for any channel on YouTube. For example, social video plaza. And now two channels will show up, my clips channel, and my regular channel so i check them both and click done and now on the bottom of the page you'll see the featured channels if we want we can rearrange all these sections over here for example my past live streams i want to move them up so i click and drag them up uh, live now i want that to be the first one short videos are not going to be on the channel so i want to delete them so i click on those three little dots over here and click on remove section and now this section is gone now let's organize this thing a bit remove move move delete 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 and again don't forget to hit publish view channel and this is what it looks like now now let's set our graphics click on branding and now over here the first section is profile picture the profile picture is the picture that you have over here to upload a profile picture, click on upload and now select a file that you want to upload. I've already prepared a profile picture. I click here and I click on open. Now I have the possibility to cut out a certain section. I'm happy with this, I click done. The banner image is the image that you have on top of your YouTube channel homepage. Let's upload a banner image. Search for the file on your hard drive and click open. And now I have the possibility to customize this banner art. On my website, you can download a template with the dimensions of this image already in it with these lines as guides. I will link it in the description below. Now let's click on done. And now we can see I have a channel icon and a channel banner. A video watermark, that is the watermark on the right bottom corner of your screen. The reason why you want to use a channel watermark is because when you hover over this image, you have the possibility to subscribe. This is why this image says subscribe. Click on upload and I upload my watermark. You can download this file, by the way, for free from my website. Again, I will link it in the description below. Again, you can customize it, but it's okay. So I click done. Do you want to show it at the end of the video? A custom start time or the entire video I say I want to show it the entire video then tab number three basic info describe a little bit what your channel is about and who you are if you want you can translate this description in more languages then click on add language 
and then it allows you here to translate your text. For now, I click cancel. This is your channel URL. There is nothing you can change about this. If you want, you can copy it to the Windows clipboard by clicking over here. Then the link section, a really important section because those are the links that are over here in your channel header. And I'm going to show you how you get this click to subscribe over here. Click on add link, then enter a title and say click to subscribe. Then copy this channel URL to your clipboard. Now paste it in this text box by pressing Ctrl and V or Command V on the back. Then add question mark sub underscore confirmation is one. And now you have click to subscribe over here. Let's see if it works. Oh, it definitely works. Add here your social media handles. For example, Twitter, my website and my Instagram. Over here, you can select how this looks. Do you want to have five links, four links, three links, two links, or just one link? I say five links. Over here, you can fill out your contact info. So potential sponsors or potential spammers can contact you. Because this is a public email address, make sure that this email address is not your regular email address that you use for YouTube, because also phishing attempts are sent to this email address. Don't forget to hit publish and click on view channel to see the fruits of our labor. I made tons of videos about sustainable YouTube strategies to get more views and more subscribers. Some of those videos are here on the screen, so uh, check them out. And if you super duper 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 like me, then I would highly suggest to subscribe to this channel and then click on the bell icon so you'll get a notification when I upload a new YouTube video about YouTube.